So you're currently streaming off your console and you're not getting the best quality. You kind of want a couple of overlays, you want a bit of alerts, but you don't have the money to buy an Elgato. Let me teach you how to get this on there for nothing. So good afternoon, good evening, good morning old schoolers and welcome back to another video. My name is Jonathan and today we're going to be chatting about how to get your PlayStation 4 or PlayStation 5 because this will work when it drops onto your computer without even having to buy an Elgato. If you've watched my videos for a while you know that I'm very much about keeping people under budget and not spending a lot of money because streaming is a long haul game and if we're not making money we don't want to be putting too much into it and we're not seeing enough of the return. See my last video up here about purchasing. But there's a really effective method to effectively get your PlayStation onto your PC without ever having to buy an Elgato. And if you can do that for nothing, instead of paying 60, 70, 80, 100 pounds for an Elgato, why wouldn't you? This is a method I've used ever since I started streaming PlayStation. I stream PlayStation every Sunday, just here, go live every Tuesday, Wednesday, Sunday. We can discuss this. If you have, if you get stuck during this video, come to the live chat and let's have a chat. I've used this method ever since I started actually streaming console. And I've never bought an Elgato. I always have crisp, 1080p 60-ish frames a second I haven't had to buy one so let's teach you we're gonna jump onto my computer now and let's get this on there without making any money so the first thing you want to do once you're on the computer is go over to the PlayStation website and make a new PlayStation account create a random email make a any email that you can think of that you might own once you're on here it's very simple as going to sign in going over to create new account and just putting some email details in for an account that you've literally just created right now. Once you've done that, we're gonna head back onto Google and we're gonna type in PlayStation 4 Remote Play. So, just type it in, go over to PlayStation 4 Remote Play. Our first, our second link is gonna be the correct one to click on. From here, simply just scroll down and download it for PC or Mac. From here, PC user, click the I agree and then click Windows PC and it will start to download and install. Well, that's downloading and installing. All you're gonna to wanna to do is go onto your PlayStation and log in onto your new account that you've just created and make sure that account is on the, on the PlayStation. Once you've downloaded it, go onto your desktop or search on the start bar for Remote Play and you'll see PlayStation Remote Play. Once it's loaded, you're gonna go onto your settings and you're gonna go and want to log into your PlayStation network right here. This usually works, however it doesn't, I will put a link down below as to how to fix the error that you'll get, which will most likely be a timing out error. Kind of annoying, but one of those things. Once you're logged on, choose your console. As I said, this will work for PlayStation 5 when it comes out because it's an option, but for today we're clicking PlayStation 4, and then it will search the internet to try and find your console. So we'll just give it a couple of seconds. Sometimes you may have to link manually, and if you need to do that, just go to your remote settings on your PlayStation, click remote play settings, and it will give you a link and give you a code, and then you just simply put that code into there. And as you can see, you have your console here. It will be logged onto your new account. However, what we're going to do, what we're going to do is turn on our PlayStation controller, and then it will bring up the screen, and you can just simply click onto the account, that you want to play off and then there you have it as you can see your PlayStation is now linked to your PC and you have it on here now the easy part putting on your OBS so let's quickly load up our Streamlab from here we're gonna do the easiest thing so this is my OBS this is how it looks and what we're gonna do is simply just go down to our sources down here and click on the plus and all we're gonna do is do a new window capture right at the bottom there type in PlayStation and then here, you're gonna to want to simply search for PS Remote Play. And there you have it. Your console is on your overlay. We can shrink it down a little bit or adjust the layering. So I'm gonna put it underneath my webcam. I'm gonna bring it under our webcam. And as you can see, it's on there. So we can resize it, make it the same size. We can crop out the edges. And you have got a very good quality PlayStation on there. And just one last note, ensure that we've got the PlayStation plugged in by our cable. For the internet otherwise it will it won't work but as we're streaming we should be wired anyway but there you have it so as you saw really really easy it's not a hard method and especially when the technology is there we may as well use it rather than spending money on things such as Elgato's I've got nothing against the company but if you can get the exact same thing for free without having to spend money then it's gonna put you in a much better position financially because you're not forking out tons of money for potentially not that good of a return. And where the quality of this is pretty high, you're not losing much, especially when you think about the encoding levels and the actual quality for the end user, it's gonna go untainted. You're not gonna see much of a difference. And like I said in the video, and I said it when we were over there, this will work on the PlayStation 5. PlayStation 5 has announced that they have remote play. 
the new remote play system includes PlayStation 5. So as soon as you get your PS5 in a couple of weeks time, you'll be able to do this straight away. So why wouldn't we do this? As long as you've got a computer and you've got a PlayStation, it is well worth your time doing this because we know about upgrading streams is the number one thing we want to do. Be professional, be the best you can be. As always, we go live every Tuesday, Wednesday, and Sunday from 7 till 10.30, playing World of Warcraft, playing God of War, and doing live tech support community events, and so on and so forth. So do come out for that. Also, if you haven't already, give the channel a subscribe and a like. I would massively appreciate it because it will help me grow, and that's the second best way to support a streamer is on their YouTube. Just, just a hint. Anyway, I hope this has been useful. If it has, tell us down below. If you do this, tell us down below. Let's chat. Let's discuss things. See you in next week's video. Bye bye. Warcraft, so come on out. It'd be amazing to see some of you out there. If Twitch is not your thing, make sure you click the subscribe button instead and click that little notification bell.